So really quick before the video starts, check the description because there's something you need to know as one of the clips got corrupted so you'll need to skip ahead a little bit. And there's also timestamps because I saw a comment about it in one of my other guide videos. But yeah, enjoy the video. Peace out. Yo, welcome back to another front of guide video. This one is for the Gladiator. So I have about six reps for the Gladiator so if I can help you find a new main or um, teach you something else about the Gladiator then that's good. That's all I want. So for this video, we're going to be going over the hero specifics, the moveset, the punishes, the chain mix-ups, and the ones that I use in game. So if this video does help you, or make you want to play the Gladiator or whatever, let me know, leave a like, and enjoy the video. Peace out. So first on the hero specifics for the Gladiator is improved stamina. So he has a larger stamina meter and faster regeneration. This means his stamina regenerates faster and his stamina meter is larger so he can throw out more mix-ups, more attacks, more feints and still um, have a decent amount of stamina. Uh, the reduced cooldown time, I think that's for your feats, I'm not positive but yeah, I, I don't really have a clip for that one because there's not much to show, it's just more knowing that that's what he has. So the first thing we we actually look at is a zone attack. Obviously you can cancel his zone attack after, after the first attack and you'll see a clip of it now. So this is use of the zone attack. As you can see, this first one, that means that's me not cancelling it. As you can see it is unblockable, so it is a decent zone attack. That is it cancelled. So after the first shield bash you can cancel your zone attack. So next up is bamboozle. So if you use a sprint attack and opponent a light attack, lead it into different chains. So this is used as a sprint attack and the bamboozle. The first one I connect just to show it off, but on this second one now, uh, I miss on purpose to show off the bamboozle. So as you can see, it is unblockable and it also stuns your opponent uh, with the white lines that go around the head. So next up is a special fall of a whatever that says. I think it's Latin, but that's just your toe poke. So you can use your toe poke on an out of stamina opponent to unbalance him, which means he'll fall over pretty much. So this is use of your toe poke on an out of stamina opponent. As you see it connects, it is unblockable and it does down them once you connect with it. Um, a lot of people do expect this from a gladiator when they are out of stamina, so just keep that in mind when they are out of stamina and you want to use it. So next up is the skewer, which is it's a move that the gladiator has, we'll get onto it. So the longer the skewer lasts, the greater the bleed damage. So if you hold your screw in for longer, it'll do more damage. Against a wall, like when an opponent's pinned up against a wall, you can press your garbage button to stun them. And then in your skewer, you can rather dodge out of it or just press B. So now is the use of the skewer. So firstly, we're going to skewer them for one tick of damage. As you see, it's in, straight back out, unblockable. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Now this is two ticks of damage. As you see, it does a little bit more damage than the first one, but now we're going to hold it in for the max amount of time we can. As you see, it does a huge amount of damage there with the bleed. Um, if I were you, I'd keep it in for about two ticks of damage, because then you're actually able to throw your opponent with your guard break button, and then you can also do more chains after that. So really quick, this is use of uh, you being able to stun your opponent. As you see, he's skewered, I press my guard break button, and you see the white lines across his head, which means he is stunned. Right, now we're moving on to the skewer throw. So if you get a successful skewer on your opponent, you'll be able to throw them by pressing your garbage button. But you can only throw them if you have inflicted one point of bleed damage or two points of bleed damage. If you apply the bleed damage three times, you will not be able to throw them. Throwing them can also grant you a wall spot. So this is now the skewer throw. So I'm going to skewer my opponent here and only inflict one point of bleed damage. And as you can see, I press my garbage button and that throws them. You can throw them in any, di any direction. But with two points of bleed damage, you can also throw them. But if I do the full amount of time, I will not be able to throw my opponent. Now, you can also cancel the skewer, which it didn't say. So, there's something else. And finally, if 
if your opponent's out of stamina and you're going to get a successful skewer on them, um, throw them, and they will fall over. It did not say this on the moveset either, so there's something else. But if you hold the skewer in once they're out of stamina, they won't fall. You have to throw them. So at the bottom where you see chains, skewer, and whatever that says, the toe poke. So it says must be used to end a chain or at the end of a chain. So your skewer will only work if you light attack or heavy attack or do a move before it. You can't just do a skewer like off neutral. Um, and the toe poke will end your chain. But if you use a toe poke neutral, you won't be able to chain it into stuff. So there's going to be no footage for that. But that's just what that bottom bit there means. So finally for the gladiator's hero specifics is his reflex guard and his deflect. I'm pretty sure you know what a reflex guard is and a deflect is because you've played assassin characters before and, and whatnot. But um, for the deflect, you can get a skewer which acts in the same way as his normal skewer would. It does the same damage, you can throw them the same and you just do that by pressing RT. But now that that's over, we're going to get on to the moveset. Now that we've gone over the gladiator's hero specifics, we're going to be moving on to his moveset. So for the first basic chains we're going to be looking at, we're looking at the Pest, which is 4 light attacks, Neptune's Rage, which is 2 heavy attacks, Wave Rider, which is a light attack than a heavy attack, and Encore, which is 2 light attacks than a heavy attack. Just know that in between any of these chains, you can use your Toe Poke to end the chain, or your Skewer to end the chain. So now we are looking at the 4 basic chains really. So this one is the Pest, which is 4 light attacks. Next is 2 heavy attacks, Neptune's Rage. Now is Wave Rider, which is a light attack into a heavy. And finally Encore, which is two light attacks and then a heavy. So now we're looking at the final two basic chains, which is Twist of Fate, which is three light attacks into a heavy attack. Then Standing Evasion, which is four light attacks into a heavy attack. We've already gone over the Sprint Attack, so we'll miss that one out. And we're going to go on to the Crowd Pleaser, which is dodging forward and pressing your light attack button. And the Bee Sting, which is dodging to the side and pressing your light attack button. Crowd Pleaser and Bee Sting can also be used to open your chains, so they will act as a chain opener, which means you can do your skewer right after them and that will work. So now we will look at Twist of Fate, which is 3 light attacks into a heavy attack. Now we're Standing Evasion, which is 4 light attacks into a heavy attack. Now again, throughout this you can use your skewer or your total pocket at any time. Now is Crowd Pleaser, which is dodge dodging forward and pressing your light attack button. This will always hit your opponent's top guard, and as you can see, it will link into chains. As you can see, I can do my skewer straight after it. Same with the beast thing, which is dodging to the side and pressing RB. As you see, I can instantly throw a light attack, uh, and a heavy attack or whatever. But if it is blocked, you will not be able to link it into the chain. The next four moves we're looking at is a Sucker Punch, which is unblockable and it will stun your opponent, which is dodging uh, to the left in front of you or to the right of you uh, and then pressing your guard bay button. A cheap shot is doing your sucker punch but with a heavy attack. That It's not guaranteed the heavy attack by the way. And the next one is the toe poke and the skewer used in chains. But we've already gone over them too but I'll still put some footage in for you. So now we will look at the sucker punch which is dodging forward and pressing your guard bay button. So you can see I can dodge forward, dodge to the right and dodge to the left and use it. Next we will look at cheap shot, which is dodging forward, guard break button and a heavy attack. As you see it does link, um, but it's not guaranteed as you will see now. It can be blocked and it can be parried, but your opponent will be stunned so it will be hard for him to parry it. Next is the um, toe poke. You know what the toe poke is, it's just a basic move the gladiator has. Yeah, that's pretty much that. And finally is the skewer using chains. If you've gone over the skewer, you know what the skewer is for. There's just some footage of it. So the final four moves we're going to be going over is a skewer deflect, the skewer throw, the counter jab and the counter jab heavy. The skewer deflect is just pressing your heavy attack button after a successful deflect. But we'll go over the skewer throw first because the last three I want to go over are counter moves. Counter jab is getting a parry then pressing your garbage button and the counter jab heavy is parrying pressing your garbage button then a heavy attack. So this is now the skewer throw, which is obviously getting a successful skewer on your opponent and pressing your garbage button. So 
So this is now use of the skewer deflect, which you get in a successful deflect on your opponent and pressing your heavy attack button. That is guaranteed. Next is the counter jab heavy, which is parrying, garbage button and then your heavy attack. The heavy attack is not guaranteed as you can see. Finally is the counter jab, which is just parrying and pressing your garbage button. Now that we've covered the gladiator's basic moveset, we're going to be moving on to punishes. So for the punishes section, we're going to be going over what is guaranteed of a light parry, a heavy parry, a guard break, an out of stamina guard break, an out of stamina parry, and the wall splat. So if you get a successful light parry, you'll be able to get a heavy attack from each side of the guard. It doesn't matter where you heavy attack really, because it does 30 damage from the left, the top, and the right side. So now for the heavy parry. If you get a successful heavy parry, your best option is to dodge forward and press your light attack button, as this is guaranteed to get you 20 damage. A heavy attack from each side of the guard is not guaranteed. You can get a light attack from each side of the guard as well, but it's only 15 damage, so your best option is to dodge forward and light attack. Your shield bash will also not guarantee any attack after it. Now for the guard break. If you guard break your opponent, you'll be able to get a heavy attack from the left, the top, and the right side of the guard. It doesn't matter where you hit with this, because it does 30 damage from each side of the guard. For the out of stamina guard break punish, throw your opponent on the floor and you can get 3 guaranteed light attacks. This will get you 45 damage. There is also a faster version of this, which will grant 45 damage, which is a light attack into a heavy attack. So there is one more out of stamina guard break punish, which is kind of tricky, and then a light attack into a heavy attack. So this part of the video messed up, so just ignore you know what I said. But for this final punish for the guard break, um, it's quite tricky and hard to perfect. So what you want to do is throw your opponent onto the floor, then delay a side light dodge attack into a delayed skewer, uh, do two points of bleed damage, and then a light attack into a heavy attack. You should get 55 so damage. Punish. As you see, I throw them, delay a side light into a skewer, throw them onto the floor, a light into a heavy. So for the outer stone and a parry punish, you can rather do a light attack into a heavy attack, which is 45 damage, or three light attacks, which is 45 damage. It's the same as the outer stamina guard break punish. Finally, for the punishes, if you wall spot your opponent, you'll be able to get a heavy attack from each side of the guard. It doesn't matter where you hit, as you'll get 30 damage guaranteed from each side. So now we are moving on to the final section of the video. So for this section of the video, I'm going to be going over... Um, like what you can cancel your zone attack into, what you can cancel your skewer into, uh, and little chains, and then chains that I'll use in game. So this is kind of where I'm going to stop talking properly and just talk over the clips that you see. So if this video did help you uh, learn something new about the gladiator or make you want to play him or whatever, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next guide. Peace out. So here I'll be showing off what you can cancel your zone attack into. So for the first one, is into a toe stab. It, it works pretty well. Also, you can cancel it into a dash forward and light attack. You can also cancel it into a uh, dodging forward and shield bashing them. But you can use this cancel to mix up into different chains and confuse your enemy. So now I'm going to go over cancelling heavy attacks. You can abuse cancelling heavy attacks because you have a lot of stamina. So you can cancel your heavy attack into a light attack, into a, another heavy attack, into a side dodge, uh, a front dodge attack, into a side shield bash, into a uh, toe poke. You know, really mix up with the gladiator and keep your opponent confused on what you're going to throw next. So now I'm going to move on to cancelling your skewer. So your skew is kind of obvious, it's easy to parry, it's easy to see coming. So it's good to cancel it into um, different attacks. Obviously you can see you can cancel it into a toe poke, that works. You can cancel it into a light attack, into a heavy attack, into a front dodge attack, side dodge attack, side shield bash, even into a zone attack. Just really mix up with your skewer as well. So now we're going to go over the skewer throw. If you get a successful skewer throw on your opponent, you can mix it up into different stuff. I'd follow it up with a front dodge light attack, you can do a side dodge light attack, you know you can do a toe poke, you can do a shield bash, 
but same again, you're a gladiator, mix up, keep your opponent guessing and keep him confused. Now I'm going to move on to your shield bash. So if you want to shield bash your opponent, you can mix up, you know, you can cancel your heavy attack into a toe poke, you can cancel your heavy attack into another shield bash, uh, into a, a heavy attack as you can see, into a light attack, side light, front light, just same again with all these other moves, just keep mixing up. So now just a few clips of some combo ideas that um, you could use in game. Obviously Gladiator is a mix up character, so you do your own thing with him. But these are just some, some clips if you need any help for, you know, wanting to put some mix ups together. But uh, that's pretty much the video, I won't be talking over these clips so I'll see you in the next one, <laughs> again. Yeah! 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 Yeah!